welcome to all of you shiksha 360 today basically we will discuss mcq session number 11 of bfm and that basically today's session basically will consist of only four questions that is basically we have to discuss a concept that is regarding the inco terms clear <clears throat> regarding the terms inco terms regarding the word inco terms clear so first of all basically we will little bit discuss regarding that and after that basically we have to discuss questions on the basis of that clear regarding which they will ask in the examination of the inco terms clear so let's start can anyone tell basically what is the full form of inco terms as basically we have already discussed regarding that so please tell fast if anyone remember what is the full form of the inco terms inco terms that is international commercial terms and how many in, they are in number how many okay so how many they are in number and which inco terms are basically specifically used for the c base clear so all these things basically we have to discuss one by one clear so let's start our discussion <coughs> So these are the inco terms clear. These are the inco terms. Basically, this is not little bit clear, but just basically for the understanding purpose, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, nine, ten, eleven. Clear total. These are basically how many inco terms? Basically, we have total eleven inco terms. Okay, total basically we have 11 in quota. Clear, this is the first question which sometime basically we will expect in the examination. Clear, so first one, EXW that is X work, FCA that is free carrier. <coughs> Third one that is free alongside. FAS that is free alongside. Fourth one is FOB that is free on board. Fifth one is CFR, that is cost and freight. Sixth one is CIF, cost, insurance and freight. Seventh one is CPT, that is cash paid to. Eighth one is CIP, that is carriage and insurance. Ninth one is DAP, that is delivered at place. Tenth one is DPU, that is <coughs> delivered at place. Clear? They have to be delivered at place. Along with that, basically, they are the responsibility of the unloaded. Clear? That is DAP that is delivered at place. Just basically, you have the responsibility up to the delivering at the place. DPU basically along with the delivering. Basically, you have the responsibility also the unload of the material. DDP that is delivered duty paid. Clear? DDP that is delivered duty paid. Clear? Delivered duty place. That is at the agreed place. Clear? At the agreed place. Okay. So, here basically they are basically under the X. EXW only packing is a responsibility having the seller rest responsibility basically for the charges of the load for the delivery to place or for all these things clear for insurance terminal handling on arrival delivery to destination unloading to destination or import duty clear all these responsibility basically in the hands of the buyer clear that is basically who is buying clear that is who is buying basically it has the responsibility for all other things clear Next here, that is FCA, that is FCA free carriage, clear. It has the responsibility, clear, basically of the seller, basically has the responsibility of the export packing, charges for load, delivery of place or fourth. And fourth one is export duty, clear. These are the responsibility of the seller and rest all other things are having the responsibility of the buyer, clear. And the rest at all other places having the responsibility of the buyer, clear, having the responsibility of the buyer, clear. So please remember all these things clear basically while answering the question just basically we have to understand some basic things regarding that clear this is a for brief introduction clear basically this is basically for the overview I am discussing with you clear if you are able to remember all the things only after that basically you are able to answer the question clear now let's move towards the here EXW that is stands for the XWX EXW XWX FCA that is free F CA carrier, FS free along side ship, FOB free on board, 
CFR cost and freight. CAF here basically I is more than cost insurance and freight. CPT carriage paid to clear if any if any student face issue of sound please join again. So C I F that is cost insurance and freight. C P T that is carriage paid to clear basically C P T that is carriage paid to C I P that is cost. Sorry C I P. Please remember that if there is C I F that is cost. C I P that is carriage. <coughs> Where we you you will find the word P that is basically paid paid to basically whom that is carriage. Here yeah, basically we have to pay to carriage. Clear? <clears throat> carriage and insurance pay to. Clear? Carriage and insurance pay to. DAP that is delivered at place. Clear? DAP that is delivered at place. DPU that is delivered at place unloaded. Clear? DPU that is delivered at place unloaded. <clears throat> Next one is DDP that is delivered duty paid. Clear? DDP that is delivered duty paid okay so please remember all these things basically i am discussing these things second time now move to the next one that is how they can categorize clear basically we can categorize basically these terminologies clear these 11 terminologies basically into four groups as we can notice basically they all start with one of these four letters clear first one basically this is start with e these three are started with the f these four are started with the C and these three are started with the D. Clear total, these are 11 terms. Clear total, basically, there are 11 terms. Clear. So, basically, we will divide it into four parts as E, F, C, D. Clear. This is convenient for classification of the INCO term rules as each letter group is dedicated to regulating a specific place or transport section or delivery of the goods. Clear. So, now let's understand. Like here, basically, E. E that is EXW, clear? It means that that is departure. Place of delivery of the goods, clear? Basically, place of delivery of the goods that is at origin in the selling party establishment, clear? In the selling party establishment, clear? The selling party basically delivers the goods within their establishments and make them available, clear? The selling party basically delivers the goods basically within their establishments and make them available to the buyer's party there, clear? Just basically, they have to deliver outside here is, or basically within their establishment clear in the selling party establishment clear rest basically they hand over the goods basically to the buyer's party and rest basically it depends upon them basically how they will the goods clear or how they will move their goods clear that is basically e that is e rule that is basically departure now move to the next one that is f rules clear that is f rule that is unpaid main carriers clear basically under the f that is fca Clear, like basically we have discussed three, that is FCA, FAS, FOB. So under this, clear under the F rule, that is unpaid main carriage, place of delivery of the goods basically at origin. When the party hires a transport, clear basically place of delivery of the goods that is at the origin, Basically, that is basically when the party hires a transport for delivery and pays for it. Clear? Under that, basically, the buyer party hires a transport basically for the delivery of the goods and pays for it. Here, basically, the seller party basically delivers the goods to a mode of transport without payment. Clear? That is, payment is to be not to be done by the selling party. That is to be done by the buyer's party. Clear? That is to be done by the buyer's party under the F rules. Clear? Under the F rules. Third one, that is the C rules, clear? That is paid main carriage, clear? That it is to be also delivered by the selling party. Clear? So, place of delivery of the goods basically at origin, when the selling party, clear? Basically, when the selling party hires a transport, when the selling party, here, please remember that here, the buying party hires a transport, 
here the seller's party basically hires the transport basically for the delivery and pays for it. The seller's party basically deliver the goods to a mode of transport with the payment and immediately transfer the risk. Okay, here and immediately transfer the risk. Okay. Last one basically D rules. Clear basically D rules. That is basically arrival at the destination. Clear place of delivery of the goods. Clear here basically place of delivery of the goods basically at the destination designed by the buying party. Clear basically in that basically the seller has taken the full responsibility. Clear the seller has taken the full responsibility for the goods. Clear the place of delivery of the goods basically at the destination designated by the buying party. The selling party here. Clear basically in this case, basically the selling party takes the care of the import transport. Clear basically the selling party takes care of the transport and deliver the goods. Clear basically and deliver the goods basically at the final destination and bears all the risk. Clear the in this case, basically the selling party takes care of the transport. Clear basically takes care of the transport and deliver the goods basically at the final destination. Clear and deliver the goods basically at the final destination and bears all the risk clear and bears all the risk so please tell fast up to this much point basically it is clear to all of you regarding all these things regarding the basic introduction of the inco terms please tell fast if you have any doubt any query because if you are able to understand up to this much point you are able to answer understand the question basically which option basically we have to move towards clear basically which option basically we have to move towards Okay, now move to the next one. One more point basically which I have will discuss with you. That is mode of transport. Clear basically in the starting of the session, I have already informed you that there are some modes of transport basically that are specifically used for the sea waste. Clear? So the rules that refer to the sea transport, basically including inland waterways, are FAS, free alongside ship, free on board. Cost and freight and cost insurance and freight. Clear? These are FAS, FOB, CFR, CIF. These four are specifically used for the sea transport. Clear? Commonly known as the maritime shipping. Clear? Basically, these are commonly known as the maritime shipping. And this type of transport, clear? Basically, this type of transport uses all kind of cargo ships. Clear? Basically, this kind of transport basically uses all kind of cargo ships basically to move goods between sea or river ports clear basically to move goods between sea or river ports clear to move goods basically between sea or river ports clear so containerized cargo clear containerized cargo basically that ship using maritime transport and every other type of tra cargo transport such as air road rail and multimodal transport can be successfully re regulated by the other seven incoters clear these are specifically used for the seaways And for rest, basically, these are to be used. Basically, these are EXW, sorry, EXW, FCA, CPT, CIP, DAP, DPU, DDP. Clear? So here you will see that basically X, EXW, basically E category and D category. Clear? Not used basically in the maritime shipping. Clear? Basically, not used in the maritime shipping. Clear? So now basically move towards the question. Hope this discussion basically help you to understand some of the basic points. So now move towards the first question. Basically, Chintu traders, clear, basically, Chintu traders basically is in export import business. Clear, basically, they are doing basically what business is in export import business. So, Chintu traders, clear, basically, what they will import. Chintu trader basically is importing raw olives. Clear, Chintu traders basically is importing raw olives from Indonesia. Clear, basically, from where? From Indonesia. It has been agreed, clear basically, it has been agreed that the seller will pay for transport. Clear basically, it has been agreed that the seller will pay for the transport. Clear basically, under which case the seller will pay for the transport that is in the F, sorry, the seller will pay for the transport that is basically this rule selling party basically higher. So basically, we will up to C further basically. And will remain responsible basically for the goods until they arrive at the Chintu Traders Depot. Clear? So basically, it means that basically they have 
take the complete responsibility clear basically they have take the complete responsibility for the delivery of the goods basically at the buyer's point clear basically at the buyer's point that is basically we can say that at the buyer's depot however the buyer will unload the goods from the truck and clear the goods basically for import paying any another paying any necessary duty clear even they are paying the duty clear even they are paying the duty paying any necessary duty clear will unload the goods basically from the truck and clear the goods basically for import paying any necessary duty clear so which inco term is used at should be used clear dpu delivered dpu first one is second one is basically dap third one is ddp clear so i will tell you for once again dpu that is delivered at place unloaded clear basically they have delivered at the place but they are not doing the loading clear basically but they are not doing the loading clear but here they are doing the loading so basically this one is not our answer deliver at the place clear basically they are specifically mentioned clear basically they have delivering at the place clear they are delivered at the place clear okay next one deliver duty paid clear deliver duty paid so basically along with the delivering clear basically delivering at the place clear basically they will arrive at the chintu traders depot clear chintu traders depot so under the delivered at place clear basically they have to perform all the duties clear basically they have to perform all the duties clear that is basically unloading of the goods and all other things clear and all other charges basically they have to pay clear under the delivered at place clear basically under the delivered at a place clear under the delivered at place why here we will not consider ddp clear basically why here basically we will consider not ddp clear basically they will delivered only at the place clear however the buyer will unload the goods clear here unloading of the goods and clear the goods specifically for import paying any under paying any necessary duty clear that will be done by the buyer clear that will be done by the buyer clear that's why basically we will not giving the answer ddp clear if there is also done by the seller clear if it is also done by the seller that is basically along with the delivery clear basically they will unload the goods clear basically from the truck and clear the goods basically for paying all these things then basically we will go with option number ddp here basically this function basically will be done by the buyer so we will go with the option number b that is dap clear that is delivered at place clear <clears throat> so now please tell fast now this point is clear to all of you or not please tell fast under this all export duties is to be done by the seller and all import clear basically this is the import so basically it is done by the buyer clear under the D A P under the D A P. So any doubt, any query up to this much point, please tell fast. If you have any doubt, any query up to this much point, hope now this question is clear to you. Clear. So these questions are easy, but you have to remember the things properly. Now move to the next question. Question number one hundred twenty, one hundred fifty two. Basically, Rahul Traders. Basically, it is an export business. Clear. Rahul Trading Traders basically is exporting. They are basically exporting basically what five hundred local made handicrafts basically to the Nepal. Clear five hundred local made handicrafts basically to the Nepal. So here, which of the following inco terms basically cannot be used in this case? Clear which of the following basically inco terms? cannot be used in this case clear so basically they are may handy made crafts basically to the nepal clear so here they are giving four options which of the following cannot be used in this case clear first one is the fas second one is the fca third one is the fob fourth one is the cpt clear basically fourth one is the cpt So here basically, what is the correct answer? Clear, please tell fast what is the correct answer. 
which of the following inco terms basically cannot be used in this case so this question i will give you basically for the practice purpose for all of you so please i will put the question in the group also clear this question in the group also why because i will get multiple answers clear basically i will get multiple answers from all of you clear basically multiple answer from all of you so i will request to please think over that clear please think over that i will put this question in the group again clear so please think over that what is the correct answer along with the explanation clear along with the explanation clear later on i will explain the question in the group in the evening clear so i request to all of you please explain this question why if this option if a is option why if b option is this one clear like one is giving a and c so why you are giving a and c not the other one is giving d why only d basically but not other clear so please think over that now move to the next question which we have to discuss now here krishna trader basically is in export business export import business so please listen the question very carefully krishna traders basically wants to import from bangladesh clear basically they wants to import from the bangladesh that is they want to take material from the bangladesh or they are buying from that it is having a registered office in dhaka clear basically they are having a registered office in dhaka basically with a valid vat number it is also comfortable clear they are also basically comfortable in picking the consignment basically from the factory at dhaka and ship all the way and thus specify the inco term exw basically in the contract clear in the contract that is basically just you have to take the goods basically from the factory outside basically to your godown clear basically from the factory outside basically to your godown basically from where you are exporting rest basically we will do everything clear that is basically that specific terminology is basically used as exw that is x works but now what will happen basically but the exporter is not comfortable with that clear but the exporter basically it is not comfortable with that basically and thinks that this may create a ruckus at his ground clear basically and basically what the exporter thinks that basically this will create a ruckus clear that is basically not feeling comfortable clear basically that the buyer will reach their ground clear so which alternative inco term basically can krishna traders basically now use in this sale contract clear which alternative clear that is basically they want that basically they are not delivering basically goods basically from their ground basically at any other place clear we can say that basically they are saying that basically they are not delivering goods basically from their place that is basically at any other place clear at any other place clear that is basically at the place basically where the buyer will feel feel comfortable clear basically where the buyer will feel comfortable clear basically why buyer is taking interest because they want that basically they have to pay less charges clear for all these things clear basically from the trans transfer of the goods clear so exw it is basically not used here second one is basically fca fas and dap clear the dap in, in the case of the dap clear everything basically it is to be done by the seller clear but just basically for the exw we are basically wanting for the alternative clear basically we are wanting alternative just for the exw that is basically goods are to be out from the ground to a specific place where buyer will take all the responsibility clear basically where buyer will take all the responsibility clear so that the correct answer is fca that is free alongside ship clear that is basically free alongside ship clear in that case clear basically in that case basically what will happen basically goods are loaded into the truck clear basically goods are loaded into the truck basically by the seller clear and after that basically that will be goes into the hands of the buyer clear that is everything later on basically that is basically we can say that the risk or cost basically everything basically it is to be on in the hands of the buyer clear basically in the hands of the buyer clear just loading and delivery we can say that basically everything basically after loading clear everything basically it depends upon the buyer clear it depends upon the buyer okay 
So this is the we can say that basically this is the alternative clear for the E X W clear. This is the alternative basically for the E X W clear. E X W clear not free. Sorry, free alongside ship not it is that clear. This is sorry I will write it not this this is F C A clear that is F C A. I think I am speaking free alongside ship. This that one is not clear. So now move to the next question. Clear Champak Traders basically is in export import business. Clear Champak Trader basically it is in export import business. If Champak Trader basically wants to import, clear this question is in the evening basically sent by one student. If Champak Trader basically wants to import local made jackets basically from the London, clear basically what if Champak Trader basically wants to import local made jackets basically from the London, and he is comfortable, clear that is Champak Trader basically comfortable. In handling freight and transportation, <coughs> here basically they are handling in freight, and that is basically transportation and freight. Clear, and from there on, since Champak Trader basically is having office at London, clear why? Because they are having office at London also, and also make use of sea route for going and coming. Clear, and basically which route? Basically they are using sea route. And under the sea route, basically we know that basically EXW is not used, DAP is not used. Clear. So only two things are to be used here. Clear. Basically, we are. I will go. That is F A S S F O B C F R and C A F. Clear. These four are used basically for the C route. Clear. F A S F O B. So this one is also not used for the C route. Clear. So just basically we are left only with the one that is F A S. Clear. So this one is answer. Clear. So and make a use of C route basically from going and coming. Clear. So the inco term basically used to be. Used by the Champak Trader, basically in this case that is F A S. Clear that is basically F A S. Option number C is the answer. That is F A S. So hope this point is clear to all of you. Just basically, they are specifically mentioned here. Basically, that is C root. So with the understanding of just simple that term, basically we are moving towards our answer. Clear. Basically, we are moving towards our answer. Hope this point is clear to all of you. So in this session, basically we have to discuss up to this much point, and my main motive is to just help you to understand basically these inco terms. Clear, basically these inco terms. Hope all of you are basically able to understand all these terms, and thanks to all of you for joining this session. And I request all of you please go through the session once again so that you are able to remember all these things and go go through the session also. In the group, basically provided specifically regarding the inco term. So, thanks to all of you for joining this session.